Good, Good morning, morning T-Birds. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Keely. Today is June 3rd, 2022, and you're watching Matsuhama TV. Today is T-Bird Day. Tickets will go on sale in the hallway between the main office and counseling from 12.35 to 1.55. They can also be purchased with Ms. Riddle in the main office during lunch. Saturday school will be this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Congrats to the Deaf Academic Bowl team. They made an amazing show at the sponsor tournament and were chosen to win the sportsmanship award from the region they competed in. Congrats to Mateo Valdeco, I'm sorry, Gaines, Ocean, Gonzalez, Wood, and Andre Friend. There will be a meeting for all interested in swimming on the girls' swim team next fall. The meeting will be Thursday, June 9th, after school in room 607 with Mr. Treblecock and Ms. Rainbow. Mr. Rainbow. Now let's head over to Natalie for our weekend weather. Hey guys, for this weekend's weather, we're going to have rainy pretty much all week, but luckily it will be around 60 degrees, so at least it will be warm. And our lowest will be 50, or 49, so at least it won't be super cold. Uh, that's all I have for today. Have a good T-Bird day, have a good weekend, and back to the desk. Thank you, Natalie. Seniors, you will be having a class meeting at 12.05. Please make sure to attend as there will be important information about graduation. Senior breakfast tickets for sale. Seniors, seniors breakfast tickets are for sale in the main office for $10. Senior breakfast will take place June 13th at 9.30 in the Ox Gym and is followed by in-school graduation rehearsal at 10.30. Also seniors, make sure to check your MySchoolBucks account for any fines that need to be paid before graduation. If paying these fees is a financial hardship, please make sure to contact Ms. Riddle as there are funds to help out. Yearbooks for sale. Yearbooks are for sale for $45. You can buy them online at MySchoolBucks.com. As most of you heard, there was a tragic school shooting last week. We want to make sure the victims are remembered. Our reporter, Mia, has a story of what had happened. May 24, 2022, an 18-year-old fatally shot 19 students and two teachers and wounded 17 other people at Robert Elementary School in Texas. He fired shots approximately five minutes before entering with an AR-15 style rifle through a side entrance. He then walked himself inside a classroom, killed 19 students and two teachers, and remained there for around one hour. I think it's really sad at the end of the day. I mean, it's been a week, and it still kind of emotionally sits with me. I think the biggest question for me is, is like, where do we go from here? I mean, we saw last year the type of movement that we could get when one person, and granted there was multiple, but one person definitely was the victim of, you know, evil in the form of police brutality. I mean, why are we not motivating ourselves for 12 kids that were butchered? Like, where's our protests and our stamp outs for that? Or mm -hmm. do we just accept, like that this is our normal and that makes me worried because you know how long till it comes for you or me type thing so sad scared and a lot just a little lost I guess we're all terrified about this news that happened in Texas we send our condolences to all the family members that lost their loved ones during this tragic time well that does it for today's news now back to the desk well, that does it for today's news. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Keely. Subscribe to us on YouTube to never miss a story. Once, Once a T-Bird, always a T-Bird. Have, Have a great day. day.